Yo, hey, what is going on guys? Miko here coming at you guys with a brand new video today on my channel. Today's video we're gonna be talking about how you can update your console from 17502 to 17511. Basically all you guys want to do is go over to XEX menu and I have already updated my console because you know I've had my RGH for a while, but if you guys have bought a console from somebody that still gave it to you on 17502, here's how you update it. So basically, all you want to do is go right ahead and go to your HDD, and if you have something called Simple Nano Flasher 360, you want to copy it, go to your USB device, and then paste it. Now, once you do that, now you guys just want to wait for this to go over. Uh, just basically just let it copy over. Now, if you guys do hear anything in the background, I'm sorry, that's my RGH. Go right now to Simple360 NAND Flasher. Go ahead and delete everything in here, if there's anything in here from the last dash, because we'll fuck up your console, and I'm telling you right now, you don't want that to happen. So, go ahead and even delete the uh, Simple, these files, go ahead and delete these. Just everything in it, inside there, because this is from updating my console. Now go to default.xex and once you're in here it's detecting your actual NAND device which is your console. Press X to dump your NAND with raw dump X1 is what you want to do so go ahead and press X. Now once this is dumped um, I'm going to be showing you guys what to do and it depends on how big your NAND is uh, depending on how long this is actually going to take. Alright, now when the NAND is dumped, you want to press any sort of button that you have. So on your controller, just go ahead and press A. That's what I do. Uh, when it goes back to the dashboard, uh, go ahead and unplug your USB device from, you know, your thing. So, oh, there it goes. And then go ahead and plug it into your computer. Um, and from there, I'm going to go show you guys what to do on the computer. So, yo, hey, what is up, guys? Back on the computer, and basically, I'm going to have a link for uh, XE Build down below with Dash Launch. You don't really have to have the Dash Launch. I don't really use that anyway. Um, the CPU, this is basically my console CPU key. I don't really care. You can add it to whatever you want. I don't honestly give a shit. But um, basically, you need your console CPU key, which you can basically find in Dash Launch by hitting System Info. You need XE Build. Um, XE Build is what you use to, what's it called, uh, update your console. So now, if you have done the steps that I've told you to do, you should have Simple NAN Flasher in your USB device that you plug into your computer. Go ahead and plug, I mean, go ahead and drag that to your desktop. Uh, now that you have that going down, you need your flash dump file, which is basically what is going to help you update your console. Now, if I remember correctly, you just go ahead and open up the XE build from here. Uh, once you're in the actual XE build program, you're going to want to just go ahead and drag this on here. Um, now, once you've dragged the actual flash dump, that is going to help you update your console now you need your cpu key to continue with the actual update now you want to drag and copy over the cpu key go to cpu key and go ahead and cop and paste so basically um if you're updating anything from a trinity to a jasper and falcon i think it's the same the corona four gig and different sorts of consoles with different sorts of nans take a little bit more extra steps and it is more confusing if you use different sort of consoles so this is just for a trinity and not for corona so uh basically if you got all that going now you just want to hit generate hacked image if everything's in the green check mark um there you go have a nice day generated if you want to close the program press yes so just go ahead and close the program uh, your update app flash file is going to be on your desktop and this update app flash file is basically what you're going to use to update the console uh, NAND so now once you got the NAND all updated and all that kind of shit you want to go over to your USB you want to go to simple NAND flasher 360 and you want to drag that update up flash into the thing under your simple NAND flasher file. 
now now once you got that you can delete everything on your desktop um go ahead and just you know delete everything you don't need anymore um i actually would keep my cpu key kind of safe because if you just have that just hanging around you know uh xe build you want to delete everything you don't want a bunch of shit on your desktop so let me just do that real quick files i don't need that um so let's just go over here delete all right now once you have everything you're gonna unplug the usb that you have go plug it in to your freaking xbox and uh i'll teach you guys what to do once you have it in the xbox peace Yo, what's up guys, Miko back on the Xbox, and basically all you want to do once you've done all those steps that I just did, uh, go ahead and hit B, because you don't really need to sign in for this, um, go ahead and go over to your, uh, storage device, and this is what I do, hard drive, and go ahead and clear your system cache, um, just to make everything transfer, and, uh, everything will be okay, so yeah, you're fine, um, go over to XCX menu, And then you want to hit RB, go to simple 360 NAND flasher and go ahead and hit default.xcx. Now it's going to say press A if you want to flash your NAND with raw flash v4 or press B if you want to save flash your NAND with raw flash v4 dump plus write. Basically you, if you want to save flash and have the log all written down or you can just go over to XE build and make sure you have the log. So uh, press A. Now it's going to say press start if you want to flash your NAND or press anything else to exit. Now. This is going to update your Xbox. If you need to update your Xbox, if you're on a different dash update than you need to be, do not click update if it gives you a system update. And it will normally inform you if it is a system update or if it's an avatar update. So if you have gray avatars, I'm going to have a download link below to fix that too. But since I'm already updated and I'm just reflashing my NAND, this will just fix different sorts of stuff and different sorts of issues, which I already needed to do. I would normally just reflash your NAND maybe like once a month uh, just to make sure everything's going. Image written and then 54321. Bye. Alright, so now when you're back on the Xbox 360, uh, basically all you guys want to do is uh, just, it boots up like normal. Make sure that you unplug your power cable um, once after it says 54321BY, make sure to unplug that uh, to the back of the Xbox. Um, as you can see, Ninja Connected Live, I am online on 17511. I already was, but uh, there you go, that's how you update your console uh, if you guys did come to enjoy this video. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, go ahead and leave a like and uh, let me know. So, yeah, guys.